How is occupant load determined by the life safety code and what is that occupant load used for? Occupant load in the life safety code is determined by one of two ways. The first way is you can determine your occupant load based on factors that are specified by the code, occupant load factors that are given in terms of square feet per person or square meters per person, and you would apply that factor based on the use of the space over the area of that building or portion of the building. So it's simply a calculation that you would do based on the area of the building or, or portion of the building. The other way that occupant load can be determined is by counting the actual number of occupants that you would expect within a building or a portion of the building. The occupant load is then the greater of those two values, whether it's the calculated number or the actual number of occupants. The way that occupant load is used by the life safety code is it specifies the minimum number of occupants for which you have to provide certain life safety features in the building whether it's capacity of means of egress or numbers of means of egress. Uh, occupant load might trigger things like fire alarm system requirements or sprinkler system requirements, emergency lighting. Um, any number of variables um, might be impacted by the occupant load of a building or a portion of a building. In the seminars that I teach for NFPA on the life safety code, uh, we sometimes get the question, what is this occupant load all about? Um, and it's a frequent misconception that the occupant load that you calculate using the life safety code is the maximum number of people that are permitted to be in a building at any time. Uh, it's a very common uh, misconception. Again, the occupant load that's specified by the life safety code is the minimum number of occupants for which you have to provide certain life safety features. Uh, now, in some occupancies, like specifically assembly occupancies, the code does mandate that the maximum occupancy has to be posted conspicuously in the room to make it very easy for uh, both authorities having jurisdiction, whether it's fire inspector, um, and the building occupants themselves to get a sense of whether or not that space is overcrowded.